Welcome to Image Your Designer. In this video, we will be learning how to make like neon effect around your buttons that you can use uh, for graphic design as well. So let's get started. This is the final product that we'll be learning how to make. We need to have a background again. Uh, previously, I had made videos on glass morphism and neomorphism i think you should try those out as well if you want to understand different kind of styles that you can use for the ui firstly what we need is i'll first remove everything that i have put in my screen so that we start from scratch uh, the first thing i have been done is taken a screen i have taken a darker color a dark but not black okay and then we'll be making a rectangle which will be our main thing uh, i've taken this rectangle and in this rectangle increasing the radius of the corners making it more smoother so you can take a radius around you know around 18 or something like that and then the first thing we'll be doing is that we'll be coloring this uh, rectangle and we'll be doing a linear color so as we do a linear color i will take the background color from over here and also background color uh, from over here okay and then i will reduce uh, the this one slightly around 80 and then also uh, changing this color somewhere lighter a very lighter one not very light but comparatively lighter i will uh, you know push this thing over here bring this over here the main effect come actually comes from the strokes surprisingly so i will add strokes and in strokes we are going to do linear stroke over here the first thing that you need is four four colors the first color that i am taking is a bright obviously you need bright colors the first color that i'm taking over here is this um purple and then over here i take the second color which is a little oil bluish sea greenish kind of color and then in the middle this now both of these will be 100 percent and then we'll be putting over here a new color this color is kind of a uh, sweet purple i don't know what this is called whatever this is a cute purple and then for these two we'll be taking it as the um opacity 8% now this actually brings the effect of uh, you know purple from over here blue from over here and then a slight you know merge effect from these okay now that one is fine now we'll increase the stroke around three now as we increase the stroke we see most of the work is done and we'll just add two background sh uh, shadows you know something that two background circles that i'm going to add is basically what this um this purple is actually having giving a shadow giving a light not a shadow but a light since it's neon this should give a light to its background right so the circle that i am going to add right now is for that light purpose that it's glowing the glowing effect will come from this particular circle just make two identical ones and then send it behind the rectangle and then i'll um, just uh, take the same color as this one okay and this also the same color as this one sorry um this one is a sweet purple ah this one okay and then we'll be doing using layer blur effect so we'll be adding an effect to these circles as layer blur and just increase it to somewhere around 100 whichever looks good to you somewhere around 150 uh, sorry um 150 150 is very light 120 120 is not visible 100 that's slightly visible probably around 90 looks good to me so there you go your neon effect yeah thank you